Hello, uh, my name is Lance Killian, and I've been asked to show you some exercises and stretches that you can do at your desk, and also a stress relief technique that I, I really enjoy. I'm going to start out with a stress relief technique. And what that is, is when you get stressed, we tend to uh, hyperventilate a little bit. We start to breathe shallow and we are blood becomes oxygenated. So what I want you to do is I want you to breathe normally through this, but I want you to clench as many muscles as you can at one time, okay? And I want to hold you to hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds or so. So you're going to flex up as much as you can, your legs, your arms, okay, your chest, everything. Just sit there and flex. And as you can tell, I'm breathing throughout this whole entire exercise that we're doing okay this is going to help us burn off this extra stress that we have this, this extra oxygen in our blood which when you get finished will help steady our hands and help you feel a little bit more relaxed now <clears throat> we're going to move on to stretches the stretches are nice because when we sit at our desk we tend to sit in one position for a very very long time so we're going to take our hand put it on one side of our neck and pull and take that shoulder, the opposite shoulder, and drop it down. Okay, you're gonna hold that for 10 seconds or so, and then you can slowly rotate your head and neck around. Nice and easy. Do this to both sides, back and forth. Drop that shoulder on the opposite side, back and forth a few times. Then across the front, you're gonna just take your hands, you can take both hands if you'd like, but you can just take one hand and pull back. Hold that, stretches the SCM, the sternocleidomastoid right here. And of course, the back of the head. Bring your head down. Hold that again for 10 to 15 seconds. Now our arms and shoulders. We're gonna take our arm across our body, or across, hold that again, 10 to 15 seconds. The opposite side same amount of time now we're going to do something a little different we're going to take our hand we're going to put it behind us somewhere on your desk if you're still sitting in your chair just turn away and you should feel a nice stretch across your pectoralis major here and your anterior deltoid works really well do the same thing to the opposite side bring your arm away and if you want to you can add a little bit more to this stretch by turning your head away so when I do this, I'm pulling my pectoralis major. I also fill it up in my neck and shoulder. Okay, so we've done those. Now we're gonna stretch out our latissimus dorsi, which looks a lot like this cross arm stretch here, but we're gonna try and grab a hold of something very stationary, and we're going to pull against it. Okay, we're gonna use utilize our legs to push our chair away. So push against it. Again, 10 to 15 seconds. It can help stretch you out very, very well. Pectoralis major can be one of, well, several different ways. You can use a doorway, put your arm up here like this and lean against it just so that you're getting that nice stretch. Or you can try and do something like I was showing a second ago for the anterior adultoid works really good as well. Um, for the low back, we're gonna stand up for that one. And we're going to try and reach down and bend over and touch our toes. Keep your feet shoulder width apart, nice and slowly. We're going to go down as far as we can until we feel resistance in the back of our hamstrings and our lower back. And hold that for, again, 15 or 20 seconds. Now, the quadriceps and the hip flexors. Oh, when we sit in our desk for a long period of time, our hip flexors tend to get tightened up and they don't get relieved until we get out of the vehicle and run inside or we stand up from our desk to go to a different office or something to that effect so we're gonna our hem our hip flexors are gonna go get nice and tight so that's something we need to stretch this is a little bit more difficult so with any and all of these stretches please make sure that you are consulting your doctor if you have any, have any problems but also um, do these at a nice stable place your desk is a good stable place but you need to also make sure that uh, you're not overstretching and that kind of thing. So be very careful with these. So this is the one that I like to do for my hip flexors. I'm gonna put my foot up here on the desk 
and lean down a little bit. I'm gonna take that leg, the opposite leg, the stable leg, and drop my weight into it to push that hip flexor back a little bit. Oh, that feels excellent. You can feel that and also in your rectus femoris as well. And just hold that for a little bit. Do that bilaterally. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch out our hamstrings and our glutes. Hamstrings and glutes. Again, put your foot up on your desk and you're gonna lean forward like this and you're gonna feel that stretch all the way up into your hamstrings and into your glutes. Hold that for 15 to 20 seconds. Okay. And if you cannot reach up to the top of your desk, utilize the top of your chair for both of these stretches, okay? So, well, next we have our, our um, calves, okay? So we're gonna step back into uh, like a runner's lunge. We're gonna lean, try to keep our heel on the ground at all times. Step forward with the opposite foot. Of course, someone's calling me now. And then <laughs> lean forward. All right, lean forward just a little bit and you should feel good stretching your calf. Now, the last two stretches make it a little bit easier. You're gonna take, cross your leg over, which is also a good hip flexor stretch. Not hip flexor, excuse me. Uh, deep hip rotator stretch, raise that. All right, so you're gonna take your opposite hand, uh, the same, the same hand as the same leg, you're gonna grab your ankle. The opposite hand, you're gonna grab your toes and you're gonna make circles with your, with your ankles in one direction first and then the opposite direction as well. Do that 15, 20 times or so. All right, flex your foot up, flex your foot back a few times, then take your hands and turn your foot up then turn your foot down and do this again about 10 times or so for your hands and wrists works really good for carpal tunnel and some other things that really ache a good bit if you're sitting typing all day your wrists don't get a lot of range of motion so what we're going to do is we're going to try and stretch them out a little bit so we're going to start and we're going to look at our palm and we're going to take the other hand reach around and grab the back of that thumb so look at your palm reach around the back Grab the other thumb and kind of twist your wrist a little bit. And you can go up and down with that. Okay, you can also go out a little bit, but we're just going to torque on that thumb just a little bit as you're doing it. Again, don't hurt yourself. Switch around to the opposite side. Okay, now we're going to look at our palm and we're going to grab the top here. So look at our palm, reach over, grab the fingers. Push out and down, out and down. Do that over and over again. This feels excellent for the front of the uh, wrists. Now we're going to use that opposite hand. We're gonna look at the back of our hand, palm down. Take that opposite hand, grab the wrist, right around where those carpal bones are. We're not grabbing tight or anything like that. We're gonna go up and down, up and down. Do this about 10 times and I promise you, your wrist will feel much better. So then give it a shake, okay? So we've done, now we've done all of the stretches. So thank you for that. Okay, I'm gonna keep going with the strengthening. Now strengthening is a little bit different when we're sitting at our desk. It's a little more um, exercise intensive. Uh, make sure you are breathing throughout all of these exercises, okay? Do not hold your breath. If you hold your breath, you get something called a Valsalva maneuver, and we do not want that, okay? So look it up. Not a fun thing. So, strengthening. Take your hands, put them on your forehead, and push forward, okay? We're doing what's called an isometric contraction, which means no movement, okay? We're just going to sit here and stress those muscles. Push it as hard as you can against your wrists, hands. Take your hands, put them on the back of your head, and lean back. You're pushing, pushing, pushing as hard as you possibly can, okay? Just pushing. You're not trying to do a lot of this. You're just pressing with no range of motion, okay? Just pressing against it. Again, same thing, opposite hand. You should be able to see, hopefully, a little bit of muscle right there. Pushing against, holding it. 
same thing with the opposite side same thing okay now we're going to do upper arms and shoulders we're going to put our hands in a fist and put them up under the desk and we're going to lift the desk up with our fists okay okay just like this we're going to lift up should work your brachioradialis and your biceps your deltoids you should feel it your trapezius if you're doing this right also your abdominal muscles keep your abdominal muscles tight during this okay we're going to lift up the whole table now we're going to put the table back down so we're going to put our hands on the top of the desk and we're going to press it down okay you should feel this all across your latissimus dorsi your trapezius um, your triceps so just pressing down as much as you can you feel all the way down your erector spinae muscles in your back Arr, pressing as hard as you possibly can again uh, given this doesn't make you super strong but it'll help with muscle retention okay the best way to do these things is to actually go to a gym or uh, housework housework is fantastic you uh, would be amazed if you go out and rake all the leaves out of your yard just how many muscles you're utilizing at that point in time okay so our desk is ir irritating me again so i'm going to push myself my desk away but the bad thing is i'm in a roller chair so i'm going to hook my foot around the side of the desk and i'm going to push okay i'm going to push against it please be careful do not push over your desk <laughs> you don't want to do that okay i'm going to pull my desk now i'm going to pull to work on my latissimus dorsi Okay, and this is only working on my left side. So I'm gonna switch over to my other side of my desk and pull so that I can work on my, little, my right side. Okay, so we've done all our upper body. So that our quads are gonna be a little bit different. Okay, you can sit here and just flex your quads up as you're sitting at your desk and just hold the musculature there. Or you can work on different ranges of motion doing the different exercises and whatnot this is a good stretch for your um retros femoris and your hip flexors but you can also sit here and push against yourself if you'd like to for a minute, a minute to do that and for our hamstrings the only thing we really need to do is dig our heel into the floor and push our leg back we're trying to push our heel back we don't want any motion to happen because we'll mess up the floor over time so we don't want to do that so what we're going to do is just press our heel into the floor and she noticed I used the table to support myself that way I'm not off balance and I'm not losing uh, my balance and falling calves are simple just do nice calf raises that's not a problem so you know you can do one of these or so one of these sets either the stretches or the strengthening throughout your day um, i would suggest every couple of hours you take a break five ten minutes or so i'm not exactly sure how long this video is so far but you might be able to uh, utilize these two or three times throughout the rest throughout your day as you're sitting there and you're taking your break <clears throat> much better than a smoke break in my opinion uh, take a walk go outside see the uh, nature if you possibly can or walk around inside and see your neighbors that are <laughs> up and down the hallway go and say hello that'll be nice so uh, that's all for me there are tons and tons of other exercises but I don't want to bore you too long but uh, I hope you enjoyed this and good luck